because I haven't been able to walk a golf course in 12, 13 years. James AG is no stranger to knee pain. Arthritis led him to a full knee replacement on his left knee a few years ago, and he was sure he was headed for another full replacement on his right. It was like bone to bone grinding, and that's exactly what it was because there was no more cartilage in there. So imagine constantly rubbing your knuckles as hard as you can back and forth together, and that's what the knee would feel like because of the pressure of your body. Tried to be the tough monkey, and I just couldn't take it anymore. James went to see Dr. Roland J. Brandt, an orthopedic surgeon at Huron Valley Sinai Hospital. Instead of another full knee replacement, Dr. Brandt recommended the macoplasty partial knee resurfacing, a minimally invasive procedure for those suffering from early to mid-stage arthritis. It's performed using a surgeon-controlled robotic arm that accurately resurfaces the diseased part of the knee, saving as much of the original knee as possible. You're just replacing the bad part of the joint with a partial knee. You're, you're leaving the good, normal part behind in those other two compartments. Additionally, you're preserving the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament, and the PCL. Many times, at least one of those or both are sacrificed when you do a total knee. So the, the natural feeling of the joint is much more prevalent with a partial knee than it would be with a total knee. We use the computer and the data that we can gain from a CT scan of the knee and then feed that data into the computer and let the computer help us in knowing where to place the components of the knee replacement that we're doing and also then in balancing the soft tissues around the knee so we have good ligament support throughout the whole range of motion in the knee. So what we're doing is taking the knee through um, a range of motion from full straight to bending which is what you naturally do when you're moving your knee yep. and we're seeing what the the balance of the knee is basically how tight the ligaments are in all of these different degrees. Uh, and what we want is good balance throughout that range of motion. See those orange bars below the line? Yes. That's a little bit too tight. And we can see that she probably wouldn't move her knee well if we left it like this. So what we can do now is move the prosthesis that we're gonna put in this knee to adjust that, to loosen it up a little bit. For a full knee replacement, the recovery time is at least three months. With macoplasty, the incision is much smaller, the patient goes home the next day, starts physical therapy right away, and is generally back to normal within a couple of weeks. They're off their cane or their walker and functioning relatively normally as far as their day-to-day -day activities. Put your left toe down behind you for support, like your kick, a kickstand for balance. You want me to be just on one foot like this? You got it, and a little bend in that knee. The difference of the recovery from the traditional full knee replacement surgery in this macoplasty was just like night and day. I was able to get up and move around without a walker. In three, four days, I was without my walker. And within a week, I was walking up and down the stairs. How does it feel along the knee? Just like at home. I got eight and a half foot steps up and down the basement. And five days after that surgery, I was walking up and down every other foot. So this, uh little baby step is like nothing? This is like nothing. Do, you need, do I need to get a bigger step? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> to learn more about macoplasty partial knee resurfacing or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Roland Brandt at Huron Valley Sinai Hospital, log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.